is. I mean, this is how we start every video. Hi, everyone. We're here for Bloom. No. 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 And some people won't even know what that means for watching this video. Well, they should. They should. Okay, guys. This is what I look like in labor. Awesome. Without makeup on. Look, you're making a video while you're in labor. That's hugely impressive. Yeah, and who knows? I could be having a contraction right now because I got an epidural. Actually, you might be. I might be. And look so. how happy she looks. It's so much better this time around. <laughs> yeah, I would have stabbed that thing in your back when you weren't paying attention if you hadn't gotten it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's update, though. Okay, guys. So it is 10 to 7. We have on been the ugly clock with no numbers. On the ugly clock with no numbers. Um, we've been here at the hospital since um, 1230. Um, because my version was supposed to be at 2.30, and a version is when you um, try to get the baby to turn. Um, and that's the operative word being try, because nobody was really optimistic at all. I was not optimistic. And you're not even a medical professional. I mean, most of the medical professionals right. were, were, there was a lot of C-section talk. And it was kind of making me a little anxious, you know. Mm -hmm. I was, and I was trying to just kind of be like, okay, this is probably what's going to happen. You know, mm -hmm. she's a big baby. It just it wasn't looking good. Anyway, there was a couple emergency C-sections that pushed me behind. Um, and so maybe an hour ago, we had the version or so. Yeah. And um, I got an epidural, which um, I I'm had so glad. done a lot of research that the epidural um, relaxes your stomach more and can make the version be more successful. Mm -hmm. And so since Adeline's such a big baby, I just thought I had some really good wise counsel that said, you know, if ultimately mm -hmm. you want a vaginal delivery get the epidural because the version's more likely to be successful and then you'll get mm -hmm. to have your vaginal delivery. So, um, even though folks were not optimistic, she turned. She totally turned. And it was amazing. Right, because I obviously wasn't watching it and I was well, feeling a lot like, of pressure. They but even like tipped you so your feet were like a little bit up and you were all the way tipped. But, I mean, they, they had... There were, I counted, there were 11 people in the room when they did it. Did you notice how many people? There were a lot. Like, yeah. swarmed in. I think in case anything happened, then they would need to take you. But And because we're at a teaching hospital, so some folks were in here right. just watching. But yeah. they had the ultrasound machine on, and they saw where she was. She was totally breached, right? Mm -hmm. I think they Frank said breached. she was still. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you could just tell, like, the first time they started it, they kind of figured out where her head was and got up underneath her. And then, I mean, they started moving her, but I told Jess afterwards, I don't know how you would have done that without the epidural. Just yeah, because I don't I think, think I could have either, just like, because I could feel all the pressure. I obviously didn't have any pain. It was I like their pressure, full body but weight. Mm -hmm. There was so much pressure, and she turned. I started she crying. Turned. Oh, we People all did. We all, I was like, <laughs> like freaking out. Just so, like, calm down. Yeah. So it, it, it was we're awesome. so excited. So she turned. She's head um, down, and she's pretty. I mean, they could feel where her head was. Right. And, she hasn't. Um, dropped yet. She's negative so three, they said. We are um, just kind of monitoring her and her, me. And um, what are I the other facts? Though? Since six thirty in the morning, you're three centimeters. Yep, I'm three centimeters. She's they, negative three in, and I'm fifty percent of face. Okay, and soft and like and it sounds. Soft. Like, she and, said favorable. Yes. So um, we're going to get me something to eat because it's been twelve hours since I've eaten because of the chance of C-section. I couldn't eat, and then we had to wait longer. Whatever. So um, something bland like a chicken breast, baked potato. Um, we're going to start pitocin because we need to get we need to keep Adeline head down. And we need to get her to drop mm -hmm. um, and really start to engage that labor. Even though I'm already having contractions, they're not consistent and regular yet. Um, but maybe one right now? Hard That's to say. That was a good one? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can't feel it. Um, and we're going to have a vaginal delivery. That's Praise the, goal. the Lord. Yes. That's the goal. So, well, and it sounded like in a little while they might break your water, depending on if, it, if, if she's it was dropped or not. Because if they break my water, then um, she'll be more likely to drop. You can't break the water too early or... There's risk of the cord coming down and, and stuff like but that. So we're pumped that Sohel, is that how you say her mm -hmm. name? Sohel is here. Yeah. She's, awesome midwife. I'm sure we'll get her to pop on the camera at some point. Yeah, she's great. She's beautiful too. And she's beautiful. And she's real. She's got a plan. She's on it. Like, I feel like we're in really good hands. Yeah, we are. We are. So that's the update. Um, I don't know when we'll do another one. But that's huge. I mean, that's, but like that's a huge. Massive she turned. Craze. That's Yay. just so exciting. So. Um, Matthew is not here right now because he went to go get me food at the cafeteria, and so Ange and I thought we'd do a little video update. So, so I'm sure Matthew and I will do something fun on here. Keep an eye out. I'm sure we'll have we'll cause a ruckus in the waiting room in a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. You're doing incredible. Thank you, friend. Yeah. So thank you, everyone, who's been praying and um, looking for updates and following Twitter and Facebook, blogging, whatever. Um, I think all those prayers made a difference. Absolutely. So, yeah. Awesome. All right, guys. Take we'll care. See you soon. See you soon. Bye. Bye.